but there are some reptiles today that can keep their body temperature well above that of their surroundings. And these are the tracks of one of them. These giants haul themselves up out of the sea along beaches like this in many parts of the tropics. But in order not to disturb them, I'll turn this light out and we'll look for them with infrared cameras. Leatherback turtles. Like crocodiles, turtles are very ancient creatures, having first appeared at about the same time as the early dinosaurs. Today, leatherbacks are the biggest of all reptiles and the most widely distributed, for they're found all the way from these warm tropical waters to the freezing seas of the Arctic. These have come ashore on a beach in Trinidad, where almost certainly they were hatched. Now they, in their turn, are laying their eggs here. Leatherbacks, we know, can generate heat internally. And there is proof of that if you have a look at her eggs that she's laying right now on that thermal camera. They are emerging from her body, and lo and behold, they are bright yellow, verging on white, proving that they are warmer than their surroundings. And she generates that heat within her body from special deposits of fat, so that she can maintain her internal body temperature up to 8 degrees centigrade above that of the water through which she swims. As she sweeps away the surface sand, you can see that the sand too is yellower, warmer, than the outside of her shell, for it still retains the heat it acquired during the day. So how do leatherbacks retain that precious and expensive internally generated heat? Well, to start with, they have their huge size to help them. They really are massive animals. This one is getting on to two meters, six feet long, and they can grow to weigh a ton and a half. And of course, big objects retain their heat very much more readily than small ones do. And there's another reason. Our eye, um, bright yellow going into white, which shows that I'm losing a great deal of my heat. But she, on the other hand, is very much darker. And that is because she has an internal layer of fat, an insulating layer, just beneath the shell, which wraps round her body. The leatherbacks are the only reptiles in the world to have this kind of insulation. Her eggs laid, she fills in the hole with sand. And now she's on her way back to the sea. Life in cold blood has been a great success. It has, after all, endured for some 350 million years. But how did it all begin? To find the answer to that, we have to go back in time and back to the water to the age when strange fish were hauling themselves up onto the land, fish that were the ancestors of the amphibians. <laughs> 